How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today? Taco Bell, honey, because it's Taco Tuesday. How you doing? Yes, you guys. Did you want, if you want, <clears throat> if you want to know a secret on how you, where's my spoon? Let's put it away. Let me get another one. Um, on how you can get tacos from Nacho Bell and actually bring them home and they never be soggy. Stay tuned. So, how's everybody doing today? How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, but honey, we got a topic we got to talk about. So, basically, when I went to Taco Bell, I told them I wanted everything deconstructed. So, here's my pico. Here's my cheese. Here's my uh, Doritos Locos. Um. <clears throat> okay, how are we going to do this? Do -do -do -do. These are my regular tacos. And, uh, yeah, y'all, I uh, told them I wanted to deconstruct it because I didn't want to eat in the car. And uh, I did not, I didn't, mm -mm, I, mean, I wasn't feeling it. Mm -mm. I got some cucumbers and some mushrooms, some sataki mushrooms. I've got chicken and steak. So, let's get into this, y'all. So, this is what we're going to do. Mm, oh, that's a tomato. You know, these taco shells sure got bigger. But, yeah, so I went, um, oh, and they charged me for it, too, honey, believe me. For four tacos. Yeah, but it's all well. I wanted what I wanted. I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't This was not thought through at all. <clears throat> okay. All these packages. We're gonna put these packages up here, and I'll just grab them as I go along because we need some room for the tacos to start the show, y'all. The start of the show. Well, yeah, y'all. Um, <clears throat> how they're doing it here is you can go in. Uh, I want this Taco Bell's at a truck stop, so I had went in and ordered my food, and I had to stand outside to get my food. Ooh. This is shenanigans. This is shenanigans. So, uh, they. Ooh! Yeah, shenanigans. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, too much going on, but that's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay, y'all. Ooh, I'm exhausted just by setting this up. But yeah, honey, this is the PSA, honey. If you are married or in a relationship, please screw your partner. Please. Because we got to work with them jokers. Screw them. Very well. You signed up for that. We didn't. Ain't no reason for us to be sitting here miserable at work. Because typically it's a she, but it can be a he too. They At work mis making everybody miserable. Shoot. Y'all screw them. Do something. Put them out. Something. We get tired of uh, working with them heifers. He can be a heifer too. You know, I ain't never seen such petty folks in my life. Oh my goodness. And these people is in their 40s and up. And I just be like, oh my goodness. You know, I would say something else, but then that wouldn't be nice. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to say that. Um, but we're going to change this container out because it's not in my fruit for everything. But yeah, um, I need this container here. But yeah, y'all, uh, screw your person. Make sure they're happy because we got to come to work with these people. It don't make no sense. I go to work and then almost every single day, I would say four out of five days. No, but right now I'm at home. Even at home. I go to work, and then I feel like I want to divorce by the time my shift is over. Make it make sense. You are failing as a spouse. If your person is that miserable at a home to where they carry it over into the job. I, I'm so sick and tired of it. You want to call the supervisor because you can't see me on Skype. Boo, you better go find you a hobby. Since you want to go and run... Run and tell that you know what. I think I'll tell the supervisor next time. Why don't they call, contact me? I give myself phone number. Contact me. I got a few choice words for you. Cause that make no sense. 
It don't make no sense at all. None. For you to be so worried about and depressed, we're not even doing the same thing. Just miserable. It don't make no sense. But yeah, these people, I mean, these people got some control, a whole lot of control issues. And my, you know what? At this point, see, we have union. And at this point, they keep up the fuckery. And we're going to have to go and call the union. And we're going to have to get you called out. We're going to find out who you are. And then put you on blast. Because it don't make no sense. For you to be that miserable, you want to know what everybody else is doing. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. That, that lets me know that you're doing something that you ain't got no business doing. Evidently. Because <clears throat> you're trying to... Um, Put the attention on uh, everybody else. So evidently you doing something you ain't got no business doing. Y'all know how I like the veggies. I was being too lazy to make it myself, y'all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, I'm putting this out today. It's on the Taco Tuesday, honey, because, uh, just because you're miserable. Come down. Just because you're miserable don't mean everybody else got to be miserable. I don't know what you're going through. <clears throat> if you don't like your kids, your kids don't like you or what. But everybody ain't got to be miserable because you're miserable. That's all I'm saying. But all this uh, nitpicking and stuff that uh, people be doing, y'all need to cut it out. I was talking to a co She's like, I'm experiencing the same thing. You know what? We could seek you out. We could really find out who you are real easy. Really, but you know, trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, maybe you're just having a bad face, but you can't be having a bad face this long. You can't. It's just something in your personality, and we're gonna have to talk about this because I'm only gonna be quiet for so long and just say something in my videos. I'm only gonna be quiet for so long. I'm gonna put that paperwork in your life and see what you think about that. And put you on blast. Because if I have to go that far, honey, I'm going to find out who you are, what you're saying, and then I'm going to go around to all the other co-workers and let them know, baby, this person right here be trying to stitch on folks. So you, and I'm going to say it loud, too. I ain't got no shame. I don't bother folks for a reason because I don't want to be bothered. But once you start bothering me, oh, yeah, we're going to have some problems. Yeah. We're going to have some problems real quick. I don't bother folks because I don't want to be bothered. Point blank period. You know? Oh, yeah, it's going to be so good. So this is how you get a Taco Bell taco. Still hard at home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, they doing just way too much. You know, my thing is this. We're not even performing the same activities. I can see if I was one of those co-workers who was lallygagging and you having to do more work than I am. We're not even doing the same thing. You know? We're not even doing the same thing. So cut it out. Make no sense. I make no at all. But anywho, my stars, I need to put that PSA out there. If you're married or in a relationship, you live in, make sure they're happy before they come to work. Make sure they're happy before they come to work. We ain't got time for all that.
These jalapenos aren't hot. But yeah, honey. Mmm. Now, I see why the voice rate is high. I see why men cheat and women cheat. Some, ain't cheat. Some people cheat just because they're stupid, but... When you go home, your person's supposed to be your piece, honey. Not a headache. It ain't always perfect, but... I just be with you eight hours out of a day. And I be wanting a divorce. That makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Because you miserable. Who want to make somebody else miserable? No, no, no. These some big old tacos. Look at that. I remember the shells being that big. Mm-mm. But y'all had to get my rain out. Mm -hmm. Big tacos, y'all. <clears throat> hmm. But have you guys ever experienced experienced anything like that at work? Uh oh. Working with a miserable, excuse me, miserable MF. And if you're that miserable to where you want to make other folks miserable, just stay at home, man. If you're that person, just stay at home. It don't make no sense. So y'all can get two videos out today because, honey, I got to post this because, oof. Stay back. That's 
stuck that taco in there. I think I got enough stuff to work and uh, have me some fish tacos tonight. Pick on. Wait a minute. Okay, I got everything. Mm. I gotta show y'all this beauty. Gotta show y'all this beauty. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. <clears throat> These miserable folks. They just, mm mm. Don't make no sense to be that mi they're miserable. Don't make no sense to be that miserable. In life. Or you go to work and people want to divorce you at work. Oh, yeah, I'll take a bite. Good stuff. But, yeah, honey, I was, whew, I was just through. It just, it just burns my ass. You know, I don't, I don't go to work to make friends, but I'm not anti-productive either. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a role, an important role to play. You know, so we come in, you're supposed to do your job. Mm -mm. Mm. Have you ever tried this alkaline water? I'm drinking this because it has uh, electrolytes in it. Jalapeno was hot. broke my taco. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let's do it down now. Pretty good. Tastes like a Dorito. If you made it this far in the video, drop me some stars. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my PSA announcement. And are you the one who makes people miserable at work? Mm-hmm. Now let me know in the conversation what y'all think about that. Or maybe somebody can give me some coping skills on how to deal with it. I, I get so annoyed. You know, cool. I can be thinking, what is you doing? Why are you so miserable? You know? Why are you so miserable? To the point to where you want to be in everybody else's business. Maybe you need another something else. Maybe you need some additional job duties because you got too much time on your hands. Or do you lay lay up at night thinking about it? Anywho, if you made this far, y'all leave me some uh, suggestions on how to deal with this. A strategy or something. Because, you know, I try to be quiet and not say nothing. Stay away from folks. But my mouthpiece can get me in trouble. It can't get me in trouble. It do get me in trouble. But, honey, whoo. What was uh, Lonnie B calling? Peekaboo bitches. Yeah. All right, y'all. Don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And smile at somebody. Just don't open your mouth. Remember, we got that Rona going on around here. And smile. Smile. Show everybody there is still love out here in these streets. Don't forget, wash your face, wash your hands, and wash your ass. Okay? Until next time, remember you're a star and you shine bright like a diamond. Peace.